And that's what it's for then, the first Intercontinental Championship defense for Tito Santana as he goes up against the Honk Talk Man. One of, uh, yeah, the, uh, the biggest Intercontinental Champions of all time. And making his debut here in SWE. This is a big opportunity for him. And we've seen what the game likes to do sometimes, haven't we? We saw it with Jerry Lawler the other day. The game sometimes does like to throw a bit of a spanner in the works. And give us a random champion. So there's every opportunity that Honky Tonk could come out of this with the Intercontinental Championship. You never know. And there is Tito, of course, fresh off of winning the King of the Ring tournament to become the first Intercontinental Champion. The referee takes the belt away and shows it to Honky Tonk. He knows what he's fighting for now. What an opportunity Honky Tonk has here. He has the opportunity to walk in from nowhere and become a champion in SWE. The bell goes, we are underway in tonight's main event and straight away Honky Tonk taking down Tito and dropping the knees right across the inside of the leg. Interesting. Honky now booting the back of the arm once again. Santana rolls Honky through, looking for that double axe hand on the back, but Honky Tonk with a right hand in the gut, a big elbow in the back of the head as well. Spring Santana off ducks underneath, and the guys run face to face. Pretty even start to this match so far. Honky Tonk now fighting. Tito away in a big clothesline flattens him. And it's Honky Tonk in control. One. Only a one count. Nice. Honky Tonk really taking down Tito once again. In full control as he sends Tito over his shoulder. Tito now taking Honky over. And a big elbow right in the top of the head. Honky fights back. Sending Tito right into the corner and follows it up with a big clothesline. And it's an interesting one here. Honky's doing incredibly well early on in this match. Like I said, there's a big opportunity here for him to walk away champion in his debut match in SWE, but Tito Santana locks in the camel clutch submission. Honky fights away. Sending Tito into the corner, big clothesline into the spine. And now Honky, again, another big knee in the side of the leg. Honky really working on the legs of Santana. Tito Santana. You know you love it, Mohammed. Nice crucifix bomb there by Tito. And that is... Oh, he won the championship, wasn't it? It's only a two count. The phone's ringing. I'll deal with that in a second. Slam of the arm there by Tito as well on Honky Tonk. There's the pin one. Only a one count. From Tito Santana. <laughs> the longer he's the champion, the longer you're going to have to listen to that. So I do apologize. Figure four leg lock locked in here by Tito on Honky Tonk. Will you stop walking on the keyboard? And it's a, it's a tap out. Tito Santana successfully defends the Intercontinental Championship on his first defense, getting the Honky Tonk Man to tap out to the figure for leg lock. Boom. Wow. Wow. Well, there we go. Tito, very easy first defense for him. He'll be very happy with that. 
And a, uh, yeah, figure four leg lock locked in on Honky Tonk. Got him to submit, which is a, yeah, it's a big maneuver. Of course, that's how he did so well in the, uh, the, the King of the Ring tournament as well, especially that main event, the final, the triple threat, best two out of three falls match. And there it was, the tap out by Honky Tonk. He had no choice really, did he? He was middle of the ring. He wasn't going anywhere. He couldn't seem to roll it. So he had to tap just for longevity of career, I suppose. But there we go. Honky Tonk is on the losing side of his debut. But Tito Santana successfully retains the SWE Intercontinental Championship. Well, there we go. Tito wins in the main event of night number one. Tomorrow, we move on to the new generation. Razor Ramon versus Owen Hart. Shawn Michaels versus Diesel. And Jerry the King Lawler makes his first SWE Championship defense up against Bret the Hitman Hart. I will leave it there for tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, make sure you like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. Um, and I'll bid you farewell. Good night. God bless all the other good stuff. I'll feed the same and other stuff.